Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. I'm your girl, Jessie B, and I'm here to give you guys some tips on the differences between hygiene school and actually working as a registered dental hygienist in the field. So stay tuned, and here we go. Okay, y'all. <laughs> so first things first, um, just an FYI for those who are new here, welcome guys. Thank you guys for supporting me and just watching the videos and just asking questions because I am here for you guys. I am not here to gatekeep. I'm here to give you the information that you need to be successful in hygiene school and successful outside of school. So whatever questions you guys have, please ask me. And if I don't know, I have no problem telling you guys where you need to go so you'll know what you need to do, okay? So, um, gosh, the first difference, hmm, I want to say the first thing I truly noticed when I became a hygienist and when I first started working in comparison to school, which is how you hit the ground running. Um, you guys know everything you do in school is check, double check, triple check, like everything is checked. No matter what's going on, you are always going to be checked. So coming from school to work, it's just like, so y'all not gonna look? So y'all not gonna check for a cow? So y'all not gonna check my probing depths? Like what, huh? They can walk out? You sure? Like that type of stuff, it's like, I don't know. And you start second guessing yourself. You're like, man, maybe I should just get them to lean back one more time so I can check because you just never know. But you have to be mindful that you have been trained by the best. You have been tested time and time again. Um, countlessly, you guys have the training. You guys have the training. You guys have the knowledge to do what you need to do. I was the only hygienist. So I didn't have anybody to like, can you come look real quick? Come check for me. Like, you know, I didn't have that. So I really just had to hone in on those skills that I learned. My teachers did not play. They made sure I knew those angulations. They made sure those gracies were turned the right way. They made sure I knew, is it distal gracie or mesial gracie? They made sure that the um, sickle scales did not go sub G. If you did go a little sub G, that you pushed down on the ginger butt instead of going down and then up. Like they made sure of all of that. And I had to like remind myself of that. So that's number one, just honing in and not second guessing yourself because you are going to hit the ground running um technically and i'm just going to pick it back off of that and say the people that hire you they should make sure you're comfortable they should make sure you're not um feeling anxious or uh what's a better way to say they're not going to just throw you to the wolves they're going to actually they should make sure you know what you're doing let me say that they should make sure you know what you're doing. They should make sure you're comfortable. They should make sure you know these different systems, okay? When I was in school, I used Dentrix. When I came out, my first job was using Open Dental. Now, mind you, Dentrix is ancient. Dentrix is like, like they need to update or get rid of Dentrix altogether. Let's just say that, okay? Um, I used Open Dental. Open Dental was fantastic. And I wish my current job used Open Dental because baby, the way that Open Dental was, it's like the bread and butter. It's like night and day compared to Dentrix. So, and I haven't touched Eagle Solve yet. Hopefully, I don't, I don't have to worry about it. But, um, yeah, it wasn't giving what it was supposed to. It, in school, um, Dentrix was slow. I feel like <laughs> it, we only had 12 people. But when I tell you it would stop working at least every other day, and it would really slow things down, y'all. Like, it got to a point where they were threatening us to write everything down on paper. And I was just like, I'm, I'm not doing that. They're just going to have to leave and come back another day. I will take that ill because you want me to sit here and write everything. You know how long this is going to take? And then when the system starts working again, I have to input everything I've written down back into the system. So you got me working twice too hard. I can't do it. Let me go home and I'll call you back. That's how bad it was. So... In comparison now at work, um, eh, it's about the same. Um, as far as the system goes, Dentrix, we still use Dentrix, but it's a lot easier. Um, I feel like I got my routine down. You know, in school, you just, you're frustrated and you're questioning everything. You're trying to rush everything. So of course, I didn't really take the time out to learn Dentrix the way I wish I would have, 
But also, we didn't have classes for dentistry. We didn't have coding classes. So I was trying to learn my codes. Like, I didn't use codes. And I'm still learning my codes. So number two, learn your codes. Because in school, we didn't have it. Fortis Institute of Birmingham, Alabama did not have a code class. So when I got to work, when I started learning a 4346, huh? Uh, XX110, what? What is that? And I'm just like still learning to this day. I know my basic ones, but you have other things that you want to add or what your doctor wants you to add. So I would say definitely learn your codes, learn the basic gingivitis, you know, your regular profi, your um, scaling and root planning, four quad irrigation, stuff like that to get you rolling, just so you'll recognize them because those codes are important, you know. It's not necessarily for you, but there are codes for insurance. People have to get charged out. You know, insurance is paying for, at least most of them are paying for, you know, some of their cleaning. So you, it's really important that you're inputting the right cleaning, um, inputting the right data so everybody will know what's going on. That's, med that's medical field for you. Um, let's see. Mm, what's another one? What's another? I'm trying to like just go off the top of my head, like em envision my journey through learning all of this once I got to the field. Um, let's see. Oh, y'all, let me show y'all my drink while I'm thinking. I went to Kaba Kava, whatever you say, I'm country. It's good. I had the hummus, uh, the hummus, harissa. I had the harissa and it was delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. It was really good. It's I feel healthy. I feel like I'm running 10 miles, but mm. this is and was the strawberry lemonade. Delicious. I will be going back. Matter of fact, I need to download the app. I wonder if they got an app. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, y'all. I just went to the gym too. Um, uh, let me see. Um, I'm pretty sure that y'all's teachers in school or yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all's teachers in school have given you guys the rundown as to what is to be expected when it comes to instruments in the field. When I tell you my first job, okay, let me back up. My teacher made sure they knew that we knew that you you weren't gonna get a full cassette. You weren't gonna get three Gracies, two sickle scalers, explore, probe, and like all of this. Like you weren't gonna get all that. Baby, you be, be glad that you got what you got in this one pack because that's what I had. In my first job, there were individual packs of Gracie's, you know, the 13, 14, the 12, 11, whatever you call it. Like they, everything was individually packed. And it was frustrating because you only had so many, but you had 15 patients that you cleaned in. Everything had to be repacked, recleaned. And if you need more than one, like if you have a full mouth SRP, of course you got your Cavitron. That's beside the point. But like if you have a full mouth SRP, knowing you need this 18, this 17, 18 Gracie, knowing you need these uh, anterior sickle scalers, you have to get like a five different packs, pack those back up. Like it's just too much. It's too much. So be careful. You might, might just have an office that only has a limited amount of instruments. Okay. Mine, grateful be to God, glory to him. My current office, I have these cute little cassettes. It's enough. It's just enough. It's not the double wide, you know, it's the end of like a single wide trailer that you have, that you have your, you know, your Explorer, your, it might be double sided, might have your Explorer, your probing, um, a couple of Gracie's into your sickle. Like you have what you need and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. That's all I need because I'm a rock and roll with the Cavitron the majority of the time. What I look at my hands cramping. I don't have time for that. Not at all. And I won't, ma'am, sir. Anyway, um, so be prepared. I know y'all living a life of luxury right now in school, having everything you want at your hand, but I'm by myself. I'm by myself. I have to order everything. I have to sharpen everything. I have to clean everything. It's me, it's me. Y'all are living the life of luxury. Y'all are lazy and you don't even realize it. Welcome, because you're gonna be working. You're gonna be like, when did this? I didn't even realize I needed to sharpen my instruments like I, I you know welcome so that's number three um be expected to be limited for the majority of the offices there I, yeah um number four 
again, and I've said this multiple times and I'm gonna say it again for the newbies, the dental assistants are heroes. They are what runs the office. They are what makes everything run smooth like a Cadillac. Like it's beautiful on fresh paved asphalt, like smooth. It, they, 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 they're amazing. And you gotta treat your assistants great because in school, of course, you know, my my experience in school, we all had each other to depend on. So the same thing, you're gonna need someone to depend on. Hey, such and such, can you go get me this? Like, I need help. I need you to take these x-rays because I'm double booked. I need you to help me. And that carries along. You're gonna need help, guys. It might not be all the time. I'm pretty good with multitasking, but you're gonna need help. <laughs> and be nice. And you should be nice, period. But that's, yeah, you're gonna need them, okay? And it's super important that you acknowledge the fact that they work so hard. They get burnt out. The doctor's already, you know, hounding them for who knows what. I'm not even over there. And I already know their pressure because I feel pressure when they come to do an exam. I'm like making sure I do everything correctly, okay? Because you're not going to say nothing to me. Mm -mm. Um, so, yeah, just be just be uh, patient with them, one. And be sincere and be very nice. And, like, if you see something, just help them because... A lot of the times they're doing 50 bajillion things to your, you know, team. Like, come on. we I know we work hard. I'm not saying that we don't do nothing. We are worth our money. So never, don't talk down on hygienists. I know y'all say y'all can do what we do and whatever, but no, because if you did, you would have been went to school for it. But, okay, let me just say that. But you have to respect everybody. Like, you're, like the old saying says, respect the janitor, treat them just like the CEO. It goes both ways, okay? It goes both ways. So let that be known. Um, no disrespect, I'm just let that be known. Respect everybody's degree, whatever, okay? Um, what else? Hmm. Um, I guess I was so limited. You know, in school, you have your scrubs a certain color you have a limited amount of earrings you can wear you know the tattoos the makeup the hair color like all of that goes into play when you're in school like everything is by the book like you're in the military like not like you in the military i'm just saying but it's very strict it's very strict they're very strategic about what you wear what you do in school so when you, and i'm not saying this for every office but for my office the current office my office Baby, they be wearing hair galore, the colors of the rainbow, Jacob's robe. Like, you see all the colors, every piercing that you could ever imagine and think of, they have. And you will see it. Every tattoo, you see it. People just be living their life, and it's great. And I love that because I feel like it doesn't matter what you look like. It's what's in here. It's what's in here. So you shouldn't worry about how many tattoos I have. If I had one or a billion, like you should not care about that. And I love that because I feel like that's the way the world should work. You should not worry about how many tattoos I have. Like, I don't think that that has anything to do with my skill sets. Okay, ma'am, sir. So I'm glad that from school to work, I can actually do some more expressing myself. Like I like the tattoos. I like the earrings. It makes me feel good. I, I think it's cool. And, and my thing is, there are so many other cultures that have tattoos, that have earrings. And I'm just like, why do y'all feel like y'all, what does my earring have to do anything? And I get the bacteria with the nails and the earrings, but I'm not doing all of this. I wash my hands. I wear gloves. Like, everything's clean. Like, I'm just, I don't get it. But I'm super happy that now we are in an era where people can do a little bit more you know, within reason, because sometimes people do too much, okay? But I will say I'm glad that it's not carried over into the workforce because that is a very, nobody wants to look the same. At least I don't want to look like everybody else. I like being me. So that's another thing. I think that's what, number four? Y'all know I lose count when I'm talking to y'all. I just be, eh, eh, eh. Um, what else? Let me see. Hmm. I'm feeling pretty good. Like, I got 15 minutes worth of talking. I didn't write nothing down, y'all. I'm doing pretty good. So, of course, y'all know I was in hygiene school for three days max, but I went to school the entire day. 
Um, and then, you know, work, of course, I work from sometimes from eight to five and then it carries over. Sometimes I got to restock stuff and clean up and all of that from eight to five, Monday through Friday. Most of the time it's Monday through Thursday or Monday through Friday, half a day on Friday. So it's really cool. Like it gives you a little bit more time to live your life, catch up. Cause you know, those weekends go by so fast. I'd be like, what happened? Like, I didn't meal prep, I didn't clean. I got a big old pile of clothes that need to be cleaned up, and it's too much. But with that, it's really, really cool to have, you know, a little time to yourself. So I think it's really cool. Um, it kind of, if you find an office like that, it's really cool because it's an easier transition instead of hitting the ground running a full week's worth of working eight to five. That's a lot. So hopefully you guys can find an office that, you know, that understands the work-life balance is important. Um, I would definitely look into that. Question them when you're when you're doing your interviews. Know everything because once you in there, once you sign that contract, baby, especially if you get a bonus, ooh, it's tough, okay? Um, so I would definitely, definitely do all of your research before doing anything like signing a, 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 um, a, a contract. So, yeah. <laughs> don't, make my, don't make my mistake. Uh, let's see what else. Let's see. Mm, I'm doing so good. We got up to 17 minutes now. Um, let's see. We talked about the uniform. We talked about the time, the instruments. Let's see. What's what's another difference? Um, I wouldn't say this is a difference. I would say this is just something that needs to be said. Um, and I feel like I've said this before about, you know, never stop learning. Um, uh, cause I'm, I'm, I forget stuff. I do. It's, it's natural, especially after you get that degree, after you pass your boards, it's like, I don't need none of this cause they can't take this away from me, but you forget stuff. <laughs> take it from me. You're going to forget. Um, and you have to keep refreshing yourself. And I think it's just really important to know that. I know you're in school, you feel like you've learned everything, but you haven't, and you never will learn everything. Stuff is always changing. Life is elevo uh, life is evolutionary. Things are always gonna change, and you're gonna always have to adapt or get out. That is what it is. So um, keep in mind, you know, school, you feel like you know everything, but in work, you're gonna have to apply it. So it's best that you keep retaining information, keep learning, keep doing your CEs, keep you know just you're always going to be a student i think that's really 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 important you're always going to be a student if you limit yourself and thinking that you know everything you're going to hurt yourself and you're going to hurt your patients because you're not going to be giving them the up-to-date information that they need to know things change like we're not doing the same stuff we did a year ago we're not doing the same stuff we did five years ago you know 50 years like things are always changing think i mean think about it if someone was kept doing the same things they did 50 years ago, we would we would not, like, I couldn't imagine how life would be right now. Knowing the stuff that they only knew back then and applying it today, we would be hurting ourselves. So just think about that. Like, that's a little nugget for you. Always, always learn. I'm learning. I'm about to upload this video and go, like, read my Darby book. I have my Darby book still. I'm going to continue to read read that. You know, the Darby book is, I think that's already, like, a year, a year old. I'm gonna update my book and probably buy a new book online like Amazon or go online and just read. You're always gonna need some some type of information, guys. It's really important. So that's all I got for now. Um, I'm still learning, y'all. I haven't reached a full year yet. My As a registered dental hygienist, I've only been working since September of last year, September the 12th to be exact. So I've still got a few months to work the kinks out still, still learning. Um, and I'll definitely do a year's worth of information. I'm definitely going to write all of that down because it's so much. Like, I just want to go on the, off the top of my head and talk to you guys because it's fun for me doing that because, I don't know, it just helps jog your memory a little bit. But, um, so, side note, before we go, and I hate to be that person. I don't want to be that person. I like to be positive. But let me talk to you guys for a minute. So... I give you guys a lot of information. I have no problem telling you guys a lot of information, but something I will not do, won't ever do, is tell you how much money I make. Okay, 
So if you want to know how much I make, I will tell you this. I'll tell you this part. I live in Atlanta, Georgia, United States of America, okay? I am a registered dental hygienist, okay? And if you take that information and you look up the average pay for a dental hygienist, a registered dental hygienist, you will see a range, a range. It will give you a range from, I looked it up recently, from $33 to $55. And that's, you know, average pay. Of course, average means you can make more or less. Average, that's just the amount of money that pops up more constantly than the others. It's a bigger range, but that's the average. Y'all got that? Okay. So, um, that's average for a person that's working in an office, not a temp, because temps can make a lot of money. I just don't, it ain't for me. It's too frustrating. I got to relearn everything. No, but that's the average. So take that, take what you want from that. But I'm not telling you how much I make. That's none of y'all's business. Okay. Please respect that. I respect you guys to the utmost. So please do the same for me. Okay. That's all I got to say. So to end on a positive note, I appreciate you guys so much for continuing to watch my videos. Guys, if you want me to show you within normal limits um, or do a video about certain things, please ask me, please just ask. It's, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not mean, like I have no problem replying back to you. I feel like I reply to everybody now that I think about it. It might not be in the best timing, but I definitely reply. So if you guys have a question or want me to show you a specific video, a day in my life, I'm doing that soon. Um, a registered dental hygienist, please ask me and I will be glad to show you guys. I really will. Um, again, respectfully, <laughs> be respectful. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. That's all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, whatever questions you have, again, DM me at underscore Jostic at Instagram. That's on Instagram, y'all, at underscore Jostic. That's all you got to do. Hit me up. If your questions are more private, that's where you hit me up. You DM me. If you don't care what question you ask and you want to hit me up underneath the comments below, do that too. Whatever makes you happy, okay? I'm happy, whatever, okay? That's all I got for you guys. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later.